Hi everyone, welcome back here on this Tuesday. Looking ahead to our first alert weather days for Thursday and Friday. Talking cold, talking rain, talking snow. Let's get right into the forecast. The extended hour by hour for when and where we can expect these changes to take place. So we're going to start out here. This is tomorrow morning. 10 o'clock in the morning already seeing snow pushing through Montana and up into northwestern North Dakota. Much of the valley still quiet until a little later in the day. By the evening is when we'll start to see that snow moving into northeastern North Dakota, possibly even into the far northern valley as well. Then later into the uh, hours of Thursday morning, that's when we'll start to see a few rain showers in parts of the Southern Valley areas in pink. That's the wintry mix, the freezing rain, the sleet, the slush. We'll have that transition line kind of cutting right through the valley and snow continues for the morning commute in parts of northeastern North Dakota into the afternoon and by drive time. We're going to see a few more scattered rain showers across the Southern Valley and parts of Lakes Country snow to the north and to the west and that continues overnight and into Friday as well with a little bit more snow, perhaps pushing down into parts of the Southern Valley. It's going to move quick. It's not going to stick. We'll have the latest on the snowfall uh, amounts here. So by Thursday, excuse me, by Wednesday night, so by tomorrow night, most of the accumulation is going to be up in northwestern North Dakota. We may see an inch or two accumulating in parts of northeastern North Dakota by Thursday night. More snow pushing into northeastern North Dakota and throughout the duration of the system by Thursday, excuse me, by Friday night. Here's what we're looking at. The area of six to eight inches is most likely in northeastern North Dakota. Now, one thing I want to point out, I'm not necessarily agreeing with this forecast model. I don't think we're going to have six to eight inches in the far northern valley, northern Minnesota. I think that transition line is going to be right about here, laned into about Lakota with lesser snowfall amounts in the far northern valley. But regardless, we're looking at a very sharp cutoff between several inches of snow and an inch or two. In Fargo, the southern valley, we're mostly going to see rain here. We might see a couple of flakes mixing in, not likely to accumulate less than an inch if we do see anything. But there will be some impacts across the valley. Some areas of heavy snow, northeastern North Dakota. Areas of slick, snowy, icy roads with snow and areas of wintry mix. And this storm system comes with wind too, so we could see areas of blowing snow leading to reductions in visibility and more difficult travel. In addition to wintry precipitation, we're going to start to see cold. No matter if your hometown sees snow or not, temperatures will be falling. Before we get to the cold, here's what we're looking at now. 46 degrees in Fargo. Wind out of the north, 12 miles per hour. Pressure is falling. Moorhead, 45 degrees. Grain Forks, 45. Feels like 39, mostly cloudy. Pressure falling as well. Wind out of the north at 12 miles per hour. Temperatures are coldest right now in northeastern North Dakota. 39 Langdon, 43 Devils Lake. Low 50s in parts of the far southern valley and lakes country. We're pretty quiet for tonight. A couple of light rain showers are going to be possible overnight tonight. Very minimal impacts expected, if any. By tomorrow morning, a couple peaks of sunshine. Temperatures generally in the 30s to low 40s down to the south. And then there comes that system that we already talked about. Temperatures through tomorrow afternoon are going to be quite chilly where we see that snow moving in by the 4 o'clock hour 30s. Meanwhile, 50s to the south and east. Let's put it all together here in your planning forecast. After our first alert weather days, after our storm system, Courtney, we turn cold. Mornings in the teens, afternoons in the 20s and low 30s. I kind of feel like we've been slowly getting there at least. It wasn't 70. Yeah, it wasn't 30. super abrupt, which yeah. has been in years past. Yeah, so. <laughs> exactly. So we'll take the winds where we can find them. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Summer. Still to come, how hands-on training for some Minnesota students could save a life.